Joseph here from ACAP. Welcome to today's update. We're having a look at Canando, something a little bit different today. Um, obviously, there's a lot of um, interest of oil and gold and silver. Uh, currently, um, they're coming off um, after uh, failing to hold session highs yesterday. Uh, we all know what's going on in the Middle East, so I thought I'd look at something today that is a little bit more closer to, my, um, to home for me. Uh, I don't know how many of you that are watching or hold cryptos but yeah i do have uh canando and um i do keep an eye on it here and there and um from the overall perspective we can see it's still pretty range bound uh, we can see a bit of a wedge pattern that is continuing to uh, hold sway here now you may call this an ending diagonal as well uh, i think it's a little bit too early at the moment so I'll just zoom down a bit so we can just have a look at the overall uh, shape of price. It generally does look like to be range trading, if anything, really. But there is a bit of an ending diagonal here on the short term. Now, you can see as well, we have where price is at the moment. It lines up with a pretty key support, and that's this level here. And uh, we're going to keep an eye on that tonight. Now, going back to the ending diagonal pattern here, we did have a breakout, uh, a breakout here with one more move lower and it dropped down and tested here and then started to rebound. That would be a good sign uh, possibly from a bullish point of view, but obviously if it went through um, this, this trend line here, that would be a bit a worry for sure about uh, the price and if we're going to see a, uh, a confirmation of a ending diagonal um, price pattern. So I think what we're going to be looking to see today uh, and for the rest of the week and next week is what happens now. Do we see a break, um, a breakout now through the support here that goes all the way back uh, to this level in uh, December last year? And um, with that with that level running through, are we going to see a breakout then? And then will we see this in diagonal come back into the picture? And um, will we see it hold around this level here? And then will we see buying and a confirmation of that price pattern? Or will we see a break and further and further moves lower? So the, at the moment, everything looks pretty bearish. We've got lower highs, a um, series of them. We don't have any lower lows because we're still holding at this support. So that's where it comes in uh, a bit clutch uh, this uh, t today. And we have uh, a lower high and um, price, you know, the RSI moving, um, you know, right more further towards um, heavily oversold. But that doesn't mean too much. You can see it can trade well um, under those extremes for a fair period of time. And um, so that doesn't mean too much. So we'll continue today to see if we if we do see a break this support and if we do see a break do we stop at this level and start to turn around or do we hold support and then do we see price try and form a new push out or do we see a move down that breaks both the, this support here and this uh, trend line here and we just see a new leg lower that could, continues to grow lower for a fair period of time now if that does occur there'll be a bit of a long-term shift then in uh, momentum because we can see that range that's in play here and that would even be starting to tell us that this you know possibility that this you know, very uh, long-term overall downtrend could be continuing as well. So there's definitely a few things to keep an eye on on the short term um, and then that will possibly feed into a more longer term analysis as well. So the keys really here is do we see a break of the support and move down to this level, uh, buyers hold and push back out or do we hold here today uh, into the week and then push back out or do we see, you know, a continuation of the overall downtrend and with new uh, lows moving, you know, moving down through both of the support and uh, through this ending diagonal trend line as well. Sorry to waffle on a bit. Um, so just a few things to go over. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any thoughts or if you'd like to add anything, please feel free to drop a comment. Otherwise, you have a fantastic day. And until our next update, bye for now.